In this command, we are going to understand how to output the summary statistics using the outrec2 command. Let me install the dataset and the data that we are going to use is auto dataset. We describe the data and now we know these are the variables that are there in this dataset. So there are a couple of scenarios that we are going to look. First we want to report the summary statistics for all the variables. So the command that we use is outreg using, so this is the command name, then we add the word using and then the name of the file, comma the word options because we want this results in the word document and the replace option to delete the previous version of this file. This is what's new in this video. We add the sum log option and that would tell Stata to output the summary statistics. This is how the output would look like. We would have the variable names. We would have the number of observations in each variable, the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum value and the maximum value. In case if you want to report the labels instead of the variable name, then I have a video on it. And if you click on the upper right hand corner of this video, you would have the link to that specific video. The second scenario is that we, we want to report the summary statistics for all the variable and all the statistics. So if you, if you are familiar with the summary command or the sum command which reports the summary statistics, it have an option called detail. So if we write that command like this, sum and then the uh, comma detail option and what this detail option does is it adds other summary statistics like the skewness, kurtosis and the, uh, the percentile value, the median value for those variables. Uh, so in outrec2 command we, we will use the sum detail option to mimic this summary command with detail option. So it is similar to summarize command with the detail option. Let me run this command and this is uh, how it would look like. We can change the layout, uh, but it most probably won't fit to one page. I would also change the auto fit to window. It still won't fit. It, this, this would really be needed, but I just wanted to share that there is an option that can do this. Now next is if we wanted to report the statistics for all variables but only the few statistics say we want the mean and the the standard deviation and the number of observations nothing else so the option that we are going to use is similar same this sum log because uh, we do not want the detail option and in this case we have this option which is called equation keep what it does is whatever statistics we we ask the stata to retain it would retain those specific statistics and it would delete the other ones so we asked it to report only three statistics which is the number of observations the mean value and the standard de deviation but there is an issue that the number of observation is 70 for the price variable and 69 for the repair variable so uh, when we run the regression obviously the number of observation in the regression model would be 69 because it takes the lowest of uh, all where the data for all the variables are, is present. So uh, what I want is that I want to report just the summary statistics for, for the data points that are used in the previous regression. Okay, for that we first need to run the regression. And then we output the results, but now we, we only use the sum option. We do not have the detail or the log option within it. We just use the sum option and what this sum option does is it would just report the st summary statistics for the variables that were there in the previous regression and for the observation that were used in the previous regression. So we can see that this regression have only used 69 observations. And and now we can see that instead of all the variables, it has just taken the variables that were there in the regression analysis. And for those specific observations that were used in the previous regression. 
So before we move forward, I would like to add one more detail to it. We had discussed the EQ keep option where we delete, uh, we only keep the statistics that we want. We also know that we can keep the, the, the variables that we want to, uh, to have in the uh, output table. But if you are going to use this command, it will generate an error. Why is that so? Because in outrec2 command, you cannot use eqq keep and the keep option at the same time. You can either use the eq keep to keep the statistics and drop option to drop the variable, or you can use the other way around. So this command would generate error. If you wanted to use it, you would have to either use the drop option in this uh, to drop the variables, or you would have to use the drop option as eq drop okay next we want to output the results for different groups in this data set that we are using we have a variable by the name of foreign and it represents which uh, cars are for foreign uh, or and which are domestic cars so if i tabulate the command i would know that there are two categories that is domestic and the foreign and we want to report the summary statistics for each category. So for this we just need to add the by sort and then the variable name the categorical variable name and the rest of the command would remain same. Let me run it. So now we have this output for the summary statistics for for the case where the the car is domestic and this is for the uh, group where the car is foreign and lastly we we discuss the command that we will use to uh, to output the frequency distribution and we just add the cross option at the end of this command and this would generate the frequency distribution table uh, for the uh, for this command and have used the foreign as the um, the categorical variable now this outrec2 command is not uh, very good with this summary statistics and there is another command by the name of uh, uh, asdoc that is uh, quite uh, better to ha in handling the summary statistics and we would have a video on that command.